Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a password GUI. And if you enter the correct password, it'll give you another GUI. Um, this was recommended in my comments. You can also recommend the videos on my Discord server, and I'll most likely make a video on it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So you want to create a screen GUI and start a GUI, and just name this uh, whatever you want. I'm just going to name it password. And then you want a text box and a text button. So I'm going to insert text box right here. Drag it over here. And I'm going to set the size, the offset at least to zero. So it fits. Just drag it like that. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to set the placeholder text to um, enter password. And then. I'm going to name this task box. And then we also want to insert text button like that. And just name this check pass. And set the offset again to both zero and zero. And then drag it like that. Yeah, I'm not going to be spending a lot of time on this GUI right here, but obviously you can customize it however you want. And I'm just going to have it like that, I guess. And I'm also going to change the text to uh, like submit or something. Just like that. Now you want to insert a, in replicated storage, you want to insert a remote function and name this check. Or, yeah, just name it check. And you also want to insert a oops. You also want to insert a script in the server script service. And we also need the GUI that the player is gonna get. So I'm just gonna use a blank frame, I guess. I'll just name this secret GUI. And then put a frame in it. Set the offset to zero, of course. Like that. And scale it up and i'll just put it like right in the middle like that and then this would be the gui that they get when they insert the password so in the check pass button you want to insert a local script and then in here you want to type script.parent dot mouse button click connect function and now we want to insert a not insert but we want to create a variable which will basically be once we invoke this so we can like get the return and stuff. So to do that, it's simple. Just do local uh, check pass equals game dot replicate storage dot check invoke server, and then we want to pass this password box. So just do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot pass box dot text. The reason why we're using a remote function instead of just checking it fully client sided is because if like it, we can send this with that and we don't want we don't want them to be able to see the actual password so in here if we put just like local code equals one two three four then an exporter can just look in the script and see that that's the code and we don't want that and we want the code to be server sided so that's why we're using a, a remote function so after you do that you want to type down here if check pass equals equals correct, then script dot parent dot parent dot enabled equals false. And I'm also going to turn off reset on spawn on this one and reset on spawn on this one off. So this you'll see why we put this right here in a second. Now we want to go over to the server script and do uh, game dot replicate storage dot check dot on server invoke equals function player code also create a variable up here which is what you want the code to be uh i'm just gonna put local code or local real code equals uh new escape uh you can put whatever you can put the code as whatever you want though so now i'm gonna do if um code lower equals equals real code then this lower will basically let us, this will make it ca like case insensitive. So if they type like 
like that with like random capitals, it'll still work. It doesn't, and it'll automatically, it'll still work. It'll make a lowercase and stuff. So if code lower equals real code, then um, we want to do script dot secret GUI clone dot parent equals player dot player GUI, and then we want to do return correct. Now this is going to return the string correct back to the client who fired this and I'll check it right here. If it's correct, then it'll make this password box invisible. And I think that should be all we need. Let's go ahead and test it. So if we type just like that in here, it's not going to work. Whatever we type, it's not, it won't work. But if we type new escape and then click submit, then you can see the password GUI disappears and the GUI that we're supposed to get reappears. And you can't exploit this. You can't like, exploiters can't get the GUI without typing the code and they can't see the code. So yeah. Also it's case insensitive. So we can just do, we can type it like that, click submit and still get the GUI. So yeah, if this video helped you at all, you can join my Discord server in the link in the description. Um, you can talk with other people, you can submit video ideas, and yeah.